In this video, we're going to talk about the upsert module for Airtable in Make.com. Let's dive right into it. So you're on Airtable, and let's just say you are an influencer agency, and you have a table where you track all of the creators who you work with or aspire to work with on your various marketing campaigns. You want to have a form such that your employees or maybe managers of creators can submit people directly into your database for consideration and for collaborations on the campaigns that you work with. But you don't want to put the form in the creator table itself because every time the form is submitted, it creates a new record. So if you have, let's say, Charlie D'Amelio in your database already, but somebody from your team or somebody from a management company submits Charlie D'Amelio, it will only add another instance of that creator in your database. When what you wanted to do was update that or not add it at all because you already have all the information. So best practice in that case is to have a separate intake table and then an automation that before adding the information to the creators table, searches for the creator in the database and adds it if it doesn't exist or updates it if it does. So here we go. Let's copy the creator table so that we have all the same fields in our intake form. So we'll say duplicate table. Let's not duplicate the records. Let's call this creator intake form to some extent, sure. And then we'll make the form. We'll say intake form. And we'll keep all this information. So you want to type the handle, first name, email, followers, platform, and URL. So we're going to open the form. And we're going to submit. So in this case, we already have Charlie D'Amelio, Addison Ray, Zach King. So let's type in Zach King. First name is Zach. Zach at zachking.com, platform TikTok, profile URL, number of followers, I think is 76,500,000. Cool. And then we submit. And if we look at the intake form, we see, there you go. That's your record. But we need now to take that information check whether it already exists in the creator table and update it to the extent that it does not. So the first thing I'm going to add here is a little radio button. We'll call it checked. Then we need a view. We'll say unchecked. Okay, great. Now here's your make scenario, three modules. First, in the upsert demo base, in the creator intake form table, we want to look at the view unchecked. Let's try that on its own. Sure enough, it came up with that Zach King record. Then we want to search the main creators table. So we're using a search, another search records module in Airtable. In the creators table, where handle, now look at this syntax here, squarely brackets, field name equals the handle from the intake form. So if it finds the same handle, 
in the intake form as it is in the creators table, then take note. The last module is going to be upsert. Upsert back to the creators table using the record ID that you may or may not have found in the search, the second search records module. And update everything, the handle, the first name, the email, the followers, the platform, the platform URL. Now just take note that if this information already is there and is the same, it won't do anything. But if the information is blank in the creator table, but exists in the intake table, it will add it. If the information is different in the creator table as it is in the intake form table, it will change it. So let's give this a shot. Now I'm going to bring this down here a little bit so we can watch it happen in real time. If all goes well, you're going to see Zach King's information populate right here. Boom. There you go. Let's do one more. So Charlie has a first name and a profile URL and a platform, but she doesn't have an email address or a follower account. So let's get that form out again. Let's type in Charlie D'Amelio. And she needs an email and followers. So email is going to be charlie at charliedemilio.com. And then follower number, I believe, is like 150 million. We're going to submit. Let's go back to make. Let's watch this happen. Boom. Great. No new records added. Just updated. That's an example of the power of upsurge. Thanks for watching.